A. Paul Turley here for Azure Every Day. I'm here on, in the financial district of uh, New York working with a big client on a big BI project. I'm in front of Federal Hall, which is where the government was established. Just hanging out with my buddy George here. It has me thinking about governance and particularly data governance, something that we struggle with in the BI world. Well, we've got some great tools for implementing data governance now built into the Power BI and the Microsoft Azure ecosystem, and I'd like to share them with you. New features in Power BI Premium help us enforce data governance rules. The first are classifications. Here you can see that I can classify a dashboard, which essentially allows my user to understand the trustworthiness of the data that they're going to be able to see through the objects accessible through that dashboard. Here you can see the classification levels. So here, the governing body within my organization will decide whether the data exposed through a dashboard has high, medium, or low business impact, and whether it's certified data or non-certified data. So now my user understands what to expect, and they should understand what kinds of business decisions they should be able to make based on this data. The second feature are data flows. Now, data flows are currently in preview, but it's an important feature, and it's going to be a a foundational standard going forward that I can use to build standardized centralized data models that essentially allow me to define uh, a single version of the truth much like we would with a data warehouse but in much simpler terms a data flow consists of entities now these entities are built using standard power query tools right here in the browser so they stay within the service here you see an editor that's very similar to the query editor within power bi desktop but i do that right here within the browser and i have access to just about all of the same uh, query capabilities and the same query functionality that i would in desktop but it stays right here within the service I can also bind this entity to standard entity mappings within the common data service. That means that there are industry standard entity definitions and also those that I can build and manage within my organization. And you can see those standard entities that I can map my entity to here. Another important differentiator with data flows is that when I import this data, it actually resides within Azure Data Lake Gen 2 storage. And that means that I can actually access that data from other Azure services rather than just Power BI reports. So essentially, this gives me a platform now where I have governed data that has been marked as trustworthy, it's accessible to other services, and Power BI Premium now becomes an orchestration platform where I can utilize Data Lake, uh, Azure Data Factory, Azure Machine Learning, and a lot of other services. After a data flow has been defined, I can easily apply machine learning models to it. You can see that there are a number of advanced data science and machine learning models that can be applied with premium data flows and the common data service. We now have a single governed data platform that we can use to manage important enterprise data within the Power BI service.